Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the top 10 class setups on Modern Warfare after the update 1.13 or 1.13 or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be concentrating on the top 10 classes now. I recommend you guys giving all these classes a go. They are very, very good. I've been using them a lot lately and I've been absolutely destroying with all of them. Now, the first few are going to be assault rifle classes and then the next ones are going to be SMGs. And then the very last one is going to be an LMG class up. Um, in my opinion, these are also the top 10 weapons in the game as well at the moment. So this is also a top 10 weapon video as well. I definitely recommend you guys giving these a go. Before I do get into it, if you guys are new, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post every single day uh, Call of Duty class setups and mostly uh, just everything Call of Duty related, tips and tricks, all of that kind of stuff. So I do recommend you guys subscribing to the channel. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, first up, I just want to quickly mention the perks that I use because I pretty much use the same perks, lethal and tacticals for every single um, class. So, as you guys can see, I use EOD, Ghost, and then I use Battle Hardened. So, I recommend you guys giving those a go. EOD is basically flak jacket, so you can survive um, explosives a lot more easy, such as claymores, grenades, uh, score streaks. Ghost, so you can stay off the minimap, and Battle Hardened, so you can not take as much effect from the stuns and stuff like that. Anyway, as you can see, this is the first class. As you can see, the monolithic suppressor. Next up is the stock M16 uh, barrel, and then the four grip, 60 round mags, and a stipple grip tape. I'm going to be running through these class setups pretty quickly, so you guys don't have to watch this video for ages just to see 10 class setups. I'm not going to drag it out over 10 minutes or anything like that. I'm going to quickly run through each attachment. This is the next class up. Um, I recommend you guys giving it a go now. I just want to quickly mention as well, um, my favourite site is the Cronin LP945, I believe it's called. Um, but it's completely up to you what site you guys use. As you can see, there's so much. I recommend using the GI Mini Reflex, the Cronin, the Viper Reflex is good. The Monocle site is good. The Solo Optic Mini Reflex is good. There is a bunch of good ones, so you can use whatever site you guys want to. But personally, that is my favourite one. As you guys can see now, there's 60 round mags, uh, stable grip tape or rubberized grip tape, I mean. And then the Operator 4 grip for the last attachment on this weapon. Um, next up is the M13, the Tempest Cyclone for that sound suppression and extra bullet velocity. Helps you get a better, um, more easy kills at ranges and suppresses your weapon a little bit which is very very nice in my opinion. It's nice to have a suppressed weapon, the enemies won't see where you're coming from. Next up is the TAC Laser, this is, increases the movement speed and uh, aim down sight speed and all that kind of stuff to your weapon. Next up is the Stipple Grip Tape, increases your aim down sight speed and your sprint to fire speed. Stipple Grip Tape, if you notice, on most classes I do use this attachment because it is my favourite attachment to use. Next up is going to be the 300 Blackout 30 round mags. This helps you have better damage range, no visible tracers and no enemy skulls. So you guys are going to be able to be nice and quiet on the map and people aren't going to know where you're coming from, shooting from and it's going to be very very helpful. Next up is the Ranger foregrip for better recoil control and aiming stability. This is probably one of my favourite foregrips in the game. It only has a slight nerf to the aim down sight speed and the aim walking movement speed which is not very noticeable at all. Next up though is going to be the Scar, I like to use this second barrel, first of all it increases my damage range and recoil control and bullet velocity so basically just making you be able to get kills at those longer ranges with a lot more ease. This is probably one of my favourite barrel for this weapon. Next up once again as you guys can see I have the Cronin LP945 mini reflex, once again you guys can use whatever site you guys want to or you don't even have to use a site if you guys really don't want to. Next up is going to be the granulated grip tape just for better aim and next up 30 round magazines because extra bullets are always always helpful especially with this weapon as it only has like 20 bullets at the uh, beginning so next up is the merc 4 grip for better aim once again and next up is going to be the ak-47 class i like to use a monolithic suppressor sound suppression and extra damage range so you're going to be able to have your weapon suppressed and you're going to have a little bit extra range next up is the second barrel you unlock it giving you better range better bullet velocity and recoil control once again the range of four grip increases my recoil control and aiming stability just so I can get a better accuracy with this weapon. Um, next up is the 70 round drum magazines. Uh, that's quite a lot of bullets in this weapon. You can use um, whatever magazine you guys want to, but that is my favourite one. Um, and lastly, the stipple grip tape for faster movement and faster aim down sight speed and stuff like that. Anyway, onto the SMG classes. Um, I like to use this second barrel here at the beginning, increases my damage range and bullet velocity, so basically just overall increases my range on the weapon, which is very, very helpful, especially on SMGs. Next up is the FTAC Ultra Light Hollow Stock, which increases my aim down walking speed. Stipple Grip Tape, which increases my aim down walking speed. I mean, 
aim down sight speed, sorry, and my sprint to fire speed. Uh, the last magazines you unlock, which increases your damage range, and it also increases your um, ammo capacity, which is very, very helpful. And then, once again, the range of foregrip for just better accuracy in general. Next up is going to be the P90 class. Now, this is probably one of my fastest paced weapons or class setups in the game. First up, I like to use this first barrel because it increases the range on the weapon. And then attack the laser because it increases basically all of the speed with this weapon. And it also helps you have better accuracy when aimed down sight. Next up is the fly strap stock, which increases the sprint to fire speed and the aim walking movement speed, which basically just in general just makes this weapon a lot quicker. And in my opinion, it's very, very helpful to use. Next up is the stipple grip tape, once again increases the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. So this weapon is going to be super super fast and then the last one is the stipple grip tape again. Now this is my favourite class in the game at the moment, it's going to be the MP5 class. As you guys can see the first attachment is the subsonic integral suppressor. This barrel is absolutely amazing, has four pros, increases your... Um, Aim down sight speed gives you no tracers, no enemy skulls, and it also suppresses your weapon. Next up is going to be the tack laser sight, just to make your weapon faster once again. Stipple grip tape so you can aim down the sight quicker. Um, I do love this attachment, if you have noticed, I have it on basically most of my classes, so I do recommend you guys giving it a go. It's really, really helpful, especially with those slower aiming weapons. And then next up is going to be the 45 round mags. I do um, think 45 rounds on this weapon is a must have. Uh, I do tend to run out of bullets quite quickly with this weapon. And then the range of foregrip for better recoil control and better aiming stability. Anyway, next up is going to be the MP7 class with the monolithic suppressor. Increases my sound suppression and my damage range. So overall, just suppressing my weapon and giving me a bit extra range, which is very, very helpful, especially on SMGs, uh, just because, as you know, they don't really have much range on them. Um, next up is going to be the second barrel you unlock, which increases the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. So once again, increases the range and your uh, accuracy. Uh, next up the stipple grip tape once again as you guys can see I have this stipple grip tape on most of my classes I also have extended mags on most of my classes as you guys have probably noticed and then lastly I have some kind of foregrip which is going to be the range of foregrip for this class the, la the last class is going to be the PKM class and basically all I suggest you using is putting on any attachment that basically speeds up the weapon so as you guys can see I have a random sight on once again you guys can use whatever sight you guys want to I have the no stock attachment which increases my movement speed and my aim down sight speed, stipple grip tape which increases my aim down sight speed and then the snatch grip which also increases my movement speed and aim down sight speed and then I have the 200 round belt. If you guys want to you can use um, sleight of hand instead of the 200 round belt, I do that sometimes but it's completely up to you. Anyway that has been it for today's video, thank you for watching, I'm very very sorry if I talked quite fast in this video but that is the whole point, I didn't want to drag it on like most YouTubers do to 10 minutes, I wanted to get straight to it, show you the 10 best classes and then yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next video.